Good evening, Internet. The Real Shroom here. Tonight, I'm going to be playing some more Standard on MTG Arena. And, you know, Standard rotated a little while ago, and it's been fun since rotation. But um, they did the whole thing a little while before that, where they pushed back rotations so that certain sets wouldn't rotate uh, when they were supposed to initially. And I really wish they hadn't done that, because there are some cards that probably should rotate out of Standard, you know, uh, after they've had their due. And we're going to abuse one of those tonight. Let's take a look. The card I'm referring to, of course, is Shielded the Apocalypse. The Dominaria set did not rotate. Uh, Liliana of the Veil is also another card that I think is a problem that should have rotated. But anyway, you know Shieldred. She's one of the best four-drop uh, black creatures ever printed. She's the kind of four-drop that makes you question, like, why would you ever put a different four-drop in a black deck when you can just play Shieldred? She sits on the battlefield. She just wins the game by the... Uh, by the process of magic going through the natural steps that it goes through, uh, literally by doing nothing. So, um, yeah, she's still legal and standard, and we're going to try to take advantage of that while we can. Um, so, first thing we're going to do is protect Shielded. We're going to do that with our two of Skrelves, our Surges of Salvation, and our two of Negates. We're gonna, once we land Shelly, we want to keep her on the battlefield. We want to make sure she doesn't get targeted by, by uh, spot removal and swept up by sweepers. Speaking of which, we have a four of binding negotiation as our thought sees effect. It can also exile cards that are in exile. Uh, sorry, it can bin cards that are in exile, such as cards that are on an adventure, which does happen in standard, actually, or plotted cards. And um, yeah, this just lets us rip those sunfalls out of our opponent's hand so that we know the coast is clear to resolve our Shellies. Of course, Shelly by herself is just kind of a little boring. So we're going to spice it up by trying to make copies of Shieldred, because I figure if one Shieldred is good, two or three is like at least twice as good, if not more so. So uh, the only card in standard right now that can actually copy a Shieldred is this Saga, The Apprentice's Folly. It's four mana, two in a blue and a red. For uh, chapters one and two, choose target non-token creature that doesn't have the same name as a token you control. Create a token that's a copy of it, except it isn't legendary. So this can actually copy a Shieldred. It can make one copy of it. Uh, for act three, this will go away. However, we are also playing Caretaker's Talent, which is a card you know by now. Uh, it's kind of a broken card, honestly. It's extremely powerful. Um, so for three mana, it's just an enchantment that makes it so whenever a token ETBs, we draw a card. But when you level it to level two, create a token that's a copy of target token creature you control. So we can actually copy our uh, reflection tokens off of the Apprentice's Folly so that even if the Apprentice's Folly goes away, the reflection the copied reflection tokens that we make off caretaker's talent will not go away so uh this way we can stack up uh, token copies of shieldred and have like three copies of shieldred on the battlefield at the same time and if we can do that we're doing great and we probably should just win the game so uh caretaker's talent is also a very synergistic card with our deduces which create clues our charming scoundrels are a four of that we're playing um you know as a two drop that can create treasure tokens we want to be able to create treasure tokens for a little bit of ramp and color fixing as we are a four color deck um and the rest of the, the deck is just like uh, basically interaction help us helping us to facilitate and set up our combo and removal uh, a couple of lightning helixes a couple of go for the throats one bitter triumph or removal to pieces uh, we got a couple of Alquist Profs, which are more card selection. Um, I've always wanted to play this card in Standard. I think this is a decent home for it. Three mana for 3-3 three, three Vigilance when he ETBs investigate, so it creates a clue, which triggers our uh, Caretaker's Talent, of course. Something for the Caretaker's Talent to copy, but though really we're saving these to copy the Reflection Tokens. Uh, but he can tap... Uh, you can pay X, white, blue, blue, and sack a clue to draw X cards and gain X life, which is Sphinx's Revelation. So he can do Sphinx's Revelation with the tokens that we create off his Enter the Battlefield effect, or off deducing, or off copying those clues from our Caretaker's Talent, which is sweet. We also have a one of treasure te uh, treasure map, which help us, helps us scry to the good draws that we need, eventually creates treasures, and allows us to use treasures to draw cards with the Treasure Cove side. It does ramp us by turning into a land. So that's the plan. It's it's total jank tonight. You know, I'm just having fun. I just want to see if I can copy Shieldred because I think that'll be fun. And my goal for tonight, we'll see if we can pull it off once, would be to get three copies of Shieldred onto the battlefield at once. A natural Shieldred, one reflection off of the Apprentice's Folly, and one off of Caretaker's Talent, copying the reflection. There's a total of 24 lands in the deck, which really should be sufficient. Nothing too fancy. We just got uh, two of Demolition Field and a bunch of Scry lands. Um, so yeah, 
mana and standard is really bad so our draws are going to be slow we're going to have a lot of lands into the battlefield tapped that's just the way it is we're going to have to play patiently we have the interaction that we need up and then down the curve to keep us alive until we can get to the state where we can combo off with our shieldreds and our copy effects the cyborg contains a cut down a go for the throat a helix and a malicious eclipse as an additional uh, as additional removal pieces malicious eclipse is, is a sweeper that doesn't really affect us that much it can kill our scoundrels and our scrubs but sometimes you just need a sweeper to like get all those deep cavern bats etc you know sweep up all those tokens that your opponents have been creating off their caretakers talents so that's why we're including this as a one of against the really good go wide deck a couple of duresses and negate number three are in the sideboard against control um we're running a couple of Rest in Peace as uh, Graveyard Hate. One Lord of the Third Path and two Stroke of Midnight are like our enchantment uh, artifact hate. Um, Stroke of Midnight is a very versatile removal spell that I quite like. I like it better than a Get Lost. And uh, it can hit any kind of non-land permanent at instant speed for three mana. Gives them a 1-1 one -one token. We don't really care about that too much because we're gaining oodles of life off of Shieldreds. And then finally, we have a one of Metropolis Reformer to give us Hexproof. This is against all of the discard decks that are legal in Standard because uh, Bandit's talent was printed and because Liliana of the Veil is still legal. So uh, that's another problematic card that people are playing a lot of in Standard. So I'm trying out the one of Metropolis Refor Reformer to shut down those uh, discard effects. Uh, I've also noticed an uptick in popularity of like Demir Control decks that just try to mill you out. Like they don't really have any win cons other than like jace the uh whatever the perfected mind and their creature lands their restless reefs um jace does target so metropolis reformer gives us some def uh, defense against uh, being targeted by a jace trying to mill us out so that is the deck let's see how many copies of shielded we can get on the battlefield at once we don't really have a plan b you know we're not gonna have too much success beating down with alquist or our charming scoundrels we're really kind of all in on shielded trying to protect her uh, trying to, you know, play around sweepers uh, with our discard and our counter spell. Uh, also, you know, stone brain type effects. We want to counter or discard those. So let's see how many Shellies we can make. Let's try to get threes at some point during the stream tonight. Uh, let's get some matches on the ladder. And if you like off-meta, off-kilter MTG content, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Mad Scientist will be our first opponent. We're here in gold tier of standard. We made it all the way up to very high platinum last last season. Back down to gold. And yeah, uh, our hand looks great. We've got our colors. We've got stuff to play. We're on the play. Let's keep. We're pretty much always going to be making treasures with the Charming Scoundrel. So let's go ahead and do that. Create a treasure token. It's on Orzov of some flavor. I think I want to just get down my treasure map. Nurturing Pixie. So there's some kind of ETB effect. Deck. Let's attack. They don't care to trade. So let's go Sea Chrome Coast treasure map. I think we'll go for a double scry. We'll scry on our upkeep also. Zorlene. Alright, they don't have anything in their graveyard. Uh, do I want to helix now? No, I just want to scry. Go for the throat is good. Actually, let's just draw that go for the throat. Let's helix the Zorlene. Get in there. And we'll go for a demolition field. Raids. Uh, 
they sack their pixie. Um, do I want to sack their scoundrel or give them a card and a life? I can sack my scoundrel, that's fine. Let's activate the treasure map. Negate. I can get behind and negate. I actually don't have any black sources. Um, let's just pass for now. Another Zorlene. Okay. So, how do I want to do this? Sure, let you resolve that. Get your pixie back. They did not attack. Okay. Do they want to sack something? They sacked their pixie. They did you draw a card. Let's get our swamp. Kill the breeds. Let's scry. Flip our treasure map. Negates. We can bottom that. We don't need two. Okay. We need Shelly is what we need. So let's play the prof. Does that when it attacks to you? Uh, I probably should have killed Zorlene instead of Braids. Novice Inspector is fine. I just need to find Shieldred. I will decline. Let's draw a card. I have one of each of my four basics. Bitter negotiation. Uh, binding negotiation, rather. That's good. Where is Shieldred? Let's binding negotiation. The witch's vanity. We'll take Beza. I 
I can play a scoundrel. Put a wicked roll on Alquist. So then if I attack, they can block with braids. They can get back the braids. Oh no, it, they won't get it back because it has a finality counter. That's fine. That's not worthy of negating. Tithing Blade will make me sack my prop, so I will negate that. Alright, they get back their Tithing Blade. Okay. So, <laughs> I played this game pretty badly, because uh, Zorlin can bring back anything, including the Titan Blade. Alright. Well, where's Shielded? That's the question. Not here, and we die. Okay. So, definitely needed to kill the bat. <laughs> and I didn't. So, let us rest in peace. Anything else? Lightning Helix seems good. All their stuff is three toughness. Go for the throat actually seems good. We'll cut a folly... Scoundrel, Skrelv, Surge of Salvation, and Braids. Okay, that's a good hand. Go for the throat. Bitter negotiation. Um, take the carrot cake. And they top deck another carrot cake. Okay, Undercity Sears is good. Fabled Passage. I'm looking for action here, not land really. Like a rest in peace? That would be nice. Bitter triumph. Hostile investigator? Sure. Uh, I can discard a negate, I think. Uh, 
uh, typing my mana totally wrong. But that's okay. Um, do we just bitter triumph this? I guess. Pay three life. Caretaker's talents. Okay. They might just sack their thing to destroy it. I wouldn't be surprised. If they do. It's okay, it won't be pointed at Shelly when she arrives, if she ever does. Bandit's talent. Well, they didn't plus it. They have nothing to bounce back. Alright, let's deduce. More deduction. Let's deduce again. More deduction. Let's deduce again. There's Shieldred. Okay. Let's get down Skrelv. Freaking hopeless nightmare. Okay, sack a clue. Oh man. That was gonna let us copy Shelly. Well, I didn't know they were so discard heavy. There goes Skrill. Oh, let's play Shelly. Actually, am I just gonna die in my upkeep? I am, right? Ugh. I have to use her. I have to crack a clue. Helix, good. Let's binding negotiation. Wicked roll plus one plus one makes me lose one when it dies. I guess we'll just take this guardian.
Alright, let's kill the Guardian in response to that. Pixie has nothing to bounce. Non-land permanence. Okay, I can bounce the Hopeless Nightmare. Sure. Our clue, draw a card, gain some life, rest in peace is good. Play our rest in peace. Oh, but it's gonna be okay, that only destroys creatures. Carrot cake. Oh, uh, that's going to be a copy of Shieldred, which we certainly want. Oh, I should have attacked first. It has haste, though. So that's game, right? Copy Shieldred. They have food. Uh, so let's see about this. I don't know. We're going for it. They might be able to survive with their food. Yeah, with their carrot cake, they can double block. They'll go to one, and then we'll die to their attack. Okay, so we lost to game one to being a total moron. And had them within one turn of uh, victory here, but uh, they get us on the backswing, so GG's. At least we got to copy Shieldred. Let's do that again. Sheol is our opponent. We'll be on the draw. And this hand looks fine, so we'll keep. All right, we'll see if they're control. Um, I think we'll go for firing vantage. And they look like they might be control. Let's attack for one. Make a treasure. Eternal Wanderer, Counterspell, Vanish into Eternity. I think I'll take their Counterspell.
Okay, they're gonna activate their land. Let's kill it. And we'll deduce during their turn. Exile target non-land permanent. Wait, vanish into eternity. Three more to cast a big ca target to creature. Should have played planes. Okay, they're gonna vanish my caretaker's talent. That's fine. A might stone and weak stone. Okay. I'm gonna draw some cards. Surge of Salvations. Each player. Uh, now I wish I didn't have this charming scoundrel. Because they can eternal wander and make me sack Shieldred. So I can't play Shieldred here. Urza. Talents. Let's copy our clue and draw card. Or our treasure, rather. Raucous Theater. They actually have the me the meld here. I've never seen this. Okay. I will not falter. Exile target non-land permanence. Uh. Let's search that. To activate twice. Two more pieces fall into place. Okay. Um, let's rock this theater. In that, since we drew another shielded, let's play shielded. Sunfall. Oh, that does it. We don't have a counter for that. Okay. We're not going to burn our second surge on that. Each device has a road in my plan. All right. We, we're not going to be able to beat this Eternal Wanderer. I guess if we don't play any other creatures other than Shelly, there's a chance.
so here's what we'll do. Let's make this a 2-2. Two -two. Attack the Urza. They double block, that's fine. Then we'll play Shelly. No more lies. Uh, we'll pay for it. And we don't have the mana to protect it. So I think we're gone here. You are outwitted. GG's. That's pretty cool. I've never seen a, a meld of Urza before. So... We want duress. We want negate. We want maybe stroke of midnight. Keep an Uggo for the throat. Lightning Helix, pretty useless. The problem with the Apprentice's Folly is it's not much good. If we don't have Shieldred, like it can copy some of our Rinky Dink stuff, but um, it's really the goal is to copy Shelly, of course. It's kind of like a combo. Cut two scoundrels. Um, yeah, this is fine. Surveil that to the graveyard for sure. We don't need that. Binding negotiation. Double get lost to fairy silver scrutiny. Um, I don't know. Take a get lost, I guess. Play Skrell. That's fine. Deduce. <laughs> okay. Uh. So they definitely could have drawn more counter spells. Let's go for this guy. Sulfur Springs can go to the graveyard. Let's go for Prof. Okay. Eventually we will run them out of answers. They're just attacking. No, no underground river, please. Crack our clue. Binding negotiation. All right, they've got their creature land and nothing else, really. Let's 
Let's grab our planes. Come on, give me a Shelly. Let me see Shelly. You got the copy spell right here. Negates. Urza. Uh, we'll just kill Urza. There we go. Shelly Belly. And we can copy her too. And we've got the protection. We just need them to not sunfall right now. No sunfall, please. It's a sunfall. Can I draw another shieldred? Yes! Perfect. I need them to not have another sunfall. Got to be kidding me. Can I draw a third shielded? No. Deduce? Not interested in deducing. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty brutal. Double shielded. Double sunfall. Maybe I should have topped the deduce. Yeah, we'll counter that. We don't want them drawing cards. Shieldred? No. Man, that sucks. That sucks. So now I need to draw, like, a Counterspell and Shieldred? Okay, the Apprentice's Folly doesn't do anything when there's nothing on the battlefield. Binding Negotiation. the counter. Like, I had the surge, so spot removal wouldn't have done it. They needed to find double sunfall in consecutive turns, and they did, so too, too bad. Vamp Ninja is our opponent in round three. We'll be on the play, and this hand looks okay. We don't have black mana, but we'll find it. We don't have any black cards in hand currently. All right, we'll play Skrell. Golgari. They just play a 3 2. Okay. Another surge. Well, let's play treasure map. Say go.
Let's scry. I am going shields down, so... I mean, they could have killed Skrelv last turn, I'm guessing, if they had a removal spell. Another Skrelv? Now we'll bottom that. Let's scry again. Fabled Passage. Yeah, we want some action, right? Dark Slick Shores. Oh, I should have attacked. That was dumb. Oops. Lost out on one damage and one toxic. Draw a card, create a food token. It's pretty good. Instant speed. Yeah, that's a good card. Destroy target creature, find destroy target enchantments. Draw a card, get a food. Pretty good. Glissa is real bad for us. All right, let's scry. Deduce, no. Shelly, there we go. Okay, play Shelly. With Skrull backup. We have double, we have, um, okay, they're gonna kill Skrelv, that's fine, let's go Phyrexian, we're gonna bait them into losing their Glissa here. Okay. That's fine, too. So they'll just lose two removal spells. Now they won't attack with Glissa, though, which is unfortunate. I guess it's fortunate that um, they're not getting in. Okay, we got a copy on the way. We need a Caretaker's Call. Uh, talent, rather. Let's copy Shelly. Um, let's attack. Surge of Salvation. Say hi to two Shellies. Now our copy is going to go away, so we need a Caretaker's Talent. We can copy Skrelv, I guess. And they scoop! <laughs> yep, two Shieldreds. Skrelv back up, a little hard to beat. Alright, so we want Surge. Another go for the throat. Could bring in Negate, I guess, maybe. So let's cut... 
scoundrel or two. Scoundrel, a prophet. Eh, let's not bring in the third negate. Surge of Salvation is like a one mana negate for what we're trying to do. And this looks fine. Too bad they had the turn one duress. don't have a black source, unfortunately. Free Strider Lookout. Really good card. Play this land. Vantage. Um, what do we want to do with this vantage? Bottom it? I think I want to bin it, yeah. so fast. Just gonna double explore or adventure. Gonna leave my clue uncracked, I think. So that I can draw off it with caretaker's talent? Nah. Let's just draw. More deduction. Okay, let's binding negotiation. Paw patch, go for the throats. Guess we'll take paw patch. look out before it gets a trigger. See, standard is starting to get to the point of like uh, D and D era standard, where there's like games are decided by who has the most creature lands, which sucks. I want to caretakers talents. Gonna fire up the cottage again. Yep. Apprentice is folly, okay.
we'll play our treasure map. Duress. How much does this cost to activate? Four. All right, I guess we're gonna surge. What are they gonna take? They'll take De Deduce probably. We don't wanna lose Deduce. We don't wanna show them our hand, so let's surge. We're gonna take another hit from the cottage. Or maybe not. Yeah. See, I just, I don't know if we can beat their mana base. We need Shieldred. You don't want another surge. Oh, I should have scried on my upkeep. Um, I think I'm just gonna pass. Leave up to Deuce and go for the throat and my demolition fields. Yep, now they can play the Dread Knights. Yeah, their land did 12 damage to me and gave them 3 food tokens. Alright, let's get rid of the cottage. I mean, I have the full combo in my hand. Shelly plus Fringe's Folly plus Caretaker's Talent on the battlefield. Let's get a Swamp. Let's deduce. Draw. Hmm. All right. Let's scry. We want to land. We'll take a sulfur spring. Play this charming scoundrel. We'll make a treasure. They're gonna kill it, okay? Kill one of the Dread Knights. Blossoming Turtle. Mill three cards and return to land. Land creatures get plus one, plus one. Well, they don't have any 
land creatures. Do they? Not currently. They do have a restless cottage now. Okay. Let's play Shelly. Okay, um, do I give them the food? They don't have a removal spell, they would have used it already. Do I let them attack to give them the food? But that might make them do a worse attack. They're just gonna attack with a Dread Knight. Actually, I'm fine if they wanna do that. Okay, they attack with everything. I should have done that after blocks. They get to return their cottage. Block the tortoise. They are going to kill Shieldred, unfortunately. Man! Again, just one mana behind where we needed to be. Well, I think I'm dead now. Uh-oh, that's a bot. Uh, yeah, we were so- we were about to just pop off there. Okay. So I think we do want negate, we want cut down, lightning helix, cut one folly, that's our combo piece, we'll, we'll find it, um, one more cuts, we're in full on removal mode here, do we need rest in peace? I think we do, actually. I think I want Rest in Peace instead of Cut Down and one of these Helixes. Cut a Binding Negotiation. Uh, we've got Rest in Peace and a Deduce. Not much else. But I guess it's okay. We're on the play. So hopefully this Deduce will help us find something good. Hopefully they don't have a turn one duress. Looks like they do. All right, pretty lucky. Let's get our swamp. Okay, Spire Bluff. Croft. Alright, let's negotiation you. Tear Asunder Paw Patch Formation. 
they got another restless cottage. Man, I just don't know if we can beat their lands. Uh, let's go with surveil land. Deduce, sure, we'll deduce some more. Play the forge and props. All right, they did find a go for the throat. Find a removal spell for that. Shieldred? Well, they don't currently have an answer to it, so I guess it's Shelly. Nice. Play my definition demolition field. Just chill. Let Shelly do her thing. Deduce. Fable passage. Let's draw a card. More lands. Yet even more lands. Okay, well, play a Fabled Passage, pass. Surge. Draw a card. Surge. Jeez Louise. We just cannot buy a decent draw here. Come on, give me something. Deduce. Deduce. More lands. They have three restless cottages. Draw a card! Something decent, please. Let me copy Shelly. <laughs> okay, more surges. Surges for days. I guess I'll just start attacking. I'm way ahead on life, so... I'm gonna win this race.
Go for the throat. Surge. Um, I think we'll just kill this sentinel. Frill back and gain them some life. Draw land. The gates. They have to block. I'm at 39. I have a surge of salvation and a negate, so in pretty good shape here. And a shieldred. Deduce. Let's deduce. All right, now we're talking. Let's copy shieldred. Um, let's surge. Gonna fire up their cottage. Let's go ahead and destroy that. First, let's crack our stuff. Get in the islands. Get a plains. So, if I do this... Okay, <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> they scoop. <laughs> Shelly gets it done. Skull Queen's Lair is our opponent. We'll be on the draw. And, you know, a lot of our draws are going to look like this because we're a four color deck, but we'll keep. We get a scry, we're on the draw. We do have stuff we can play. Maybe. Okay, mono red aggro is what we don't want to see. So we're probably going to get destroyed game one. Don't want that. They might not necessarily be mono red. Lightning helix will be good at some point. So 
So, we have to try to kill that thing, but if they respond, then we die. But there's nothing else to do, so let's go ahead and try to kill it and see if we die. We can bin that. And we do die. So we want... Cut down. Go for the throat. Lightning Helix. High Noon. Anything else? Maybe Stroke of Midnight too? Anything that can remove their stuff. Skrell, we don't really care about. Uh, our copying Shelly plan is a little ambitious. So we'll cut one Apprentice's Folly. Yeah, Surge isn't going to be great. Negate. I mean, their stuff just triggers when they cast, so... It resolving really doesn't even matter that much. Alright, we don't need to copy Shielded in this match. If we resolve it, that probably means we're in a good way. On the draw, slow mana draw, which our deck is going to have, you know. Um, this has no interaction it can play. It does have high noon. If I draw white mana... Uh, I just don't think we can keep a hand with no removal spells. Like, if I draw white mana and he can get High Noon down on, like, turn two or three, is that good enough? White mana also unlocks Stroke of Midnight for me. And I do have a Shelly in hand, though I'm nowhere near. I don't know. I think I'll keep this, actually. See if we get lucky. All right, we'll go for a Charming Scoundrel. We'll make a treasure. There's the Manifold Mouse. That is such a disgusting combo. Uh, we'll take two. Oh, it's four, because it's got double strike. <sighs> we didn't draw land, which is really bad for us. Do we kill the manifold mouse or the hero? We clearly have to kill something. I think we'll kill the Manifold Mouse. And we'll play a treasure map. So now I wish I had blocked last turn. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll block. Monstrous Rage. Um, I guess I'm scrying for land. It goes on the bottom. So, we're dead here. We kept a... It was a risky keep and it didn't pan out. The opponent had the nuts, the nut opening for that deck. Um, okay, that's fine. We can just pack it up here, I think.
bottom. Yeah, we're dead. We're taking five. Not counting whatever's in their hand, so that's unwinnable. Oh well. Aggro decks are really good in standard. Yogi the Bear will be our opponents. We'll be on the play, and yeah, our hand looks fine. Sleet on our Demir land. Do we really want to bin our island? We only have one island in our deck. Yeah, I think we do. Alright, let's go Elegant Parlor. Surveil, we'll keep a go for the throat on top. Butterball Antics. Alright, let's binding negotiation. More antics. I guess we'll take that. Fire Bluff? Nah. Shelly! Yeah, let's play Shelly. Valley Flood Caller. You may cast non creature spells as though they had flash. We'll just take this. I think we'll kill this guy. Wait, how are they casting Otterball Antics? How did they cast that? It's a sorcery. Oh, because he lets them cast non-creature spells as though they had flash. Okay. So... That's fine. We'll just chill. Take this. All right, let's deuce. Caretaker's talents. Attack with Shieldred. Let's 
play Caretaker's Talent. We're not going to plus it yet. We're saving that to copy Shieldred. Another one of those guys. So we could kill that thing. Yeah, just we'll kill it. Discard our planes or pay three life. Pay three life. Copy spell. Copy spell. Apprentice's Folly. Aw, oh, man. Alright, looks like it's not happening, so let's just go ahead and copy our clue. Play our land, play another caretaker's talent. Let's pass. We don't want to attack because they could block and kill Shelly. I do have another one, but I think I'd rather wait till I have a removal spell or some protection. We're gonna draw cards. Otterball antics. Look at those otters go. Alright, let's draw a card. Croft. Binding negotiation? That's pretty good. Okay, they're gonna torch the tower so that Shelly can't attack. Oh, they couldn't cast Pearl of Wisdom anyway. Um, so yeah, let's just play Proft. Draw a couple cards. Gain some life. Pass the turn. Otterball antics. Those otters are getting wacky. And they're dead to Shieldred. <laughs> this is why Shieldred should not be legal. Okay, so high noon. We definitely want. Maybe malicious eclipse. Go for the throat. Cut down. I'm not too scared of four mana flashback spells from their graveyard. TBH. So let's do some trim in here. Bitter Triumph might be a little excessive for our otter problem. Good. I'll cut one Skrelv. 
go down two scoundrels. Uh, yeah, we got removal, discard, card draw, Shelly. Otterball antics. Right, I think we'll go for a binding negotiation. It's a lot of otterball antics. That's a heck of a lot of otterball antics. Take their card draw spell, I guess. I do have the copy spell for Shieldred if we can get it get it going. High noon. We don't have the mana to cast it right now. Looking for land number four. Storm Chaser's Talent. Create an Otter. Return it from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Sure, that's fine. Alright, let's deduce. Untapped land, please. No. Okay, there's an untapped land. Let's grab a swamp. Ah, uh, I should have grabbed a plains. Play Shieldred. And hope that it keeps us alive. Alright, they're gonna bounce Shieldred. Deduce. Alright, Shelly, come on. You got this. See if they have another bounce spell or something. It looks like they have a stop before their draw step. They do. Okay. All right, so now I could really stand to draw my sweeper. Or else I'm probably dead. Actually, they have, uh, they just kill me right now. Well, that was too bad. Our mana situation was a little cracked there. So, we don't want Skrelv. Lightning Helix. I think we should be okay. We're on the play this time. Maybe I should have brought in Surge number three. Okay. Don't have black mana. There's our black mana. All 
All right, let's make a treasure here. And they kill our thing, which is totally fine. Otter ball. To the maw is their draw. All right, we're not drawing much useful here. Fabled passage, no thanks. Just more lands. that thing. Alright, I just need Shelly. There's the Otter Ball antics. She old dread. She old dread. Really need Shelly right now. No, Surge. <laughs> just land. Alright, well, we didn't find Shelly in this game, it looks like. We have one more chance, maybe. They're actually gonna kill that otter. Oh no, they didn't? Oh, it only did two. All right, we just draw lands. Too bad. Match address is our opponent. They might be playing bats. We're on the plane. This hand looks great. Uh, so let's start with one of our surveil lands. This will be this one. Binding negotiation. I like that. Bones. So they might be like a discard deck of some kind. Let's take a look. Go for the throat. Laughing Jasper. Uh, we'll take go for the throat so that our prof can survive. We have a removal spell for Jasper. Scoundrel. I don't think we need another scoundrel. So I could just negotiation again? Yeah, I guess so. They have double laughing Jasper. Jeez. Okay, it doesn't have haste, so that's good.
At the end of your upkeep, exile the top X. Alright, let's kill Jasper. Find blue mana. Let's play this. Make it a 2 2. They're gonna give me a card and then make me discard a card. So they're gonna be able to play it. You can take my binding negotiation. No, they take Proft. They can just play it as a 3-3. That gives them a clue. They can't use its ability. So they're all about just stealing stuff from me, it looks like. They get another Charming Scoundrel. Okay. Play this is a 2-2. Two -two. Take your last card. It's just a land. Oh, I could have got that from exile. Oops. I could have put that into my graveyard. So that's gonna screw me over. Generous plunderer. Yeah, they should not have been able to cast that prop. <sighs> Let's deduce. Prof. Play a scoundrel. As a 2 2. Uh, they should not have that propped on the battlefield. I could have exiled it. I could have uh, put it into my graveyard. That may not necessarily be good though, because they could still get it back with tiny bones. So block like that. Oh, it's got menace. Your triumph. Alright, let's play our own props. Hostile investigator. Okay. I guess we'll double block here. Uh, no, that's... I'm die if I do that. Um... That thing has menace. Dude, shut up. I can chump. Like, he has summoning sickness right now, right? Yeah. Probably dead, but I guess I have to block this way. All right. So we want 
surge. We want rest in peace. Cut down. Helix. We want all of our creature stuff. And we can cut our slower stuff. I don't think we want to cut our character's talents. This is another situation where if we get Shelly at all, we're lucky. So copying it with our current list might be a bridge too far. A little too ambitious. Bitter negotiation? Binding negotiation? Alright, so... Yeah, we've got removal. I think we can keep this. I think we'll grab an island off our fatal, uh, fabled passage. Binding negotiate. Let's binding negotiate. Carnosaur, go for the throat, Shieldred. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll take Shieldred. It's not what I expected to see in their hand, I have to say. We draw our own Shieldred. Play a treasure map. Start scrying for lands. Nope, that's not a land. That is a land. Scry. We'll accept that. Comes in to play tapped. Well, they do have the mana to just Carnosaur next turn. Uh, I guess we'll negate that. I thought I muted you. So I did not set my stop this time around. Go for my talent. Just land Carnosaur, that could be bad. Cruel Claw, okay. City sewers. That is black source number two. I think I actually do want it. Okay, that's an excellent draw. Ractois joins up. From your graveyard to the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. Hmm, that's pretty bad. This is all really bad. Dix's command. Well, that's why we have our rest in peace, right?
choose two. I guess it's Rakdos joins up. Caretaker's talent number two. No, I don't think we need that. Let's play our scoundrel. Make a treasure, draw a card. Shielded number two. Tiny bones. Deduce. Let's deduce. Surge of Salvation doesn't stop the Gix's command. Uh, we also don't want Tiny Bones to kill us. Uh, we don't want it to attack us and get, um, what can it get? It can only get a Charming Scoundrel. So, I think I'll just play another Talent. do any non-land permanent. Oh my goodness. Oops. Well, they don't get a lot of tokens, so it doesn't help them really. Alright, let's copy this treasure. This clue. Okay, we got three shielders in hand now. So I think we can play one. Block. Now let's just go ahead and kill the tiny bones. All right, there's Dix's command. They make a sack. They get back. That dude plus their own shieldred. Okay. So let's shieldred. Oh, why did you tap my planes? Why did you tap my plane, my white source? Ah. Skrelf? That sucks, man. I should not have had to use my treasure.
All right, here comes the carny. So, I think I Surge of Salvation. Rest in peace. That would have been good a while ago. Let's play it now. Let's copy this clue. Draw two cards. Duress. Um, should I draw a card? Yeah, let's deduce. They have a shieldred. Crack a clue. Another rest in peace. Sure, let's attack. Play Shelly number two. Let's play a land. Pass. I've already plussed both of those. Generous Plunderer. Back a clue. I meant to crack my other clue there. Oh man, I'm just skipping through my phases. Alright, let's play this guy. Make a treasure. Binding negotiation, you. Play another rest in peace, I guess. Uh, type... Man. Why is the auto-tapper so bad? Okay, I still have a treasure. off my last treasure. Proft is pretty good. Don't have any more basic lands. Crack this clue. Lightning Helix. Go for the throat.
All right, they scoop. I mean, even copy shielded there. Maybe we want our Metropolis reformer. <laughs> That's because we boarded out our Apprentice's Follies. All except one. Yeah, we don't need the Apprentice's Folly, unfortunately. We're just going to have to grind it out. Alright, we'll keep this. Artifact or creature, so that hits nothing. That is a whiff. They are Fabled Passage. And I think we need to get black. Yeah, let's get black mana. Surge of Salvation is good. There's Laughing Jasper. Alright. Um, anything we want to do here? No. We want to draw Spire Bluff Canal is what we want to do. So... Let's go ahead and just kill it. In case they have like a scam spell or something. Which I don't think they do. Well, another lightning helix is good. I think I want my caretaker's talents. Hostile investigator. Uh, I'll discard demolition fields, probably. Yeah. Deduce. We'll go for a deduce. Draw a card. Perfect. Shadowy backstreets. I don't think we want that. He'll take one hit off the Hostile Investigator. Alright. I guess we'll just kill it. Fabled Passage. Let's deduce. Okay, we'll go for a Metropolis Reformer. Let's go get our planes. And then play a Metropolis Reformer. And let's Surge of Salvation it. Rakdos joins up. Returns the Hostile Investigator. Alright, let's copy one of our clues. Let's play Rest in Peace.
Do we have a treasure? We do not. Yet. Pass and just attack here. Gix's command. Okay. So that hostile investigator is huge. I guess I should have cracked a clue looking for a removal spell first, eh? Didn't find one. Mountain, I guess. Crack a clue. Surge of salvation. All right, let's play our scoundrel. Oh, I'm so dumb. I should have played my talent first. Ooh, shieldred. Go for the third sounds good. How about Shieldred? Okay, backup shield is great. Kill that thing. Attack you. Laughing Jasper. It's lightning Helix. Get in there. Bitter Triumph on Shelly. Yep, you got it. Oh, I should have cracked the clue in response. That was dumb. Ugh. Cycling their trumpety carnosaur to kill that. That's fine. Could have. Uh, I'm out to life because of that mistake. Surge of Salvation. That's a good draw. Here's another shield rune. Itali. Ooh. Okay. Duress. And deduce. Well, they're going to make me discard this Surge anyway, so I might as well discard it. And that's game. Alright, 
got him. Outground the Rakdos. Really cool, grindy uh, Rakdos. Graveyard Synergy deck, Outlaws, etc. Cool deck. All right, so that was Shelly and Shelly and Shelly in in uh, Blue Burl Standard, and it was really fun. Our final record was two and four, so like uh, due to our mana base, largely like the really aggro matchups are our big problem. We got crushed by uh, you know Gruel aggro pretty badly, and you know the mana can cause you a lot of problems. I don't think it's actually viable to play a four color deck in Standard. I think this deck could be improved. Um, I think it just needs, like, more card draw, as I often say, you know, like, uh, maybe some more Surveil Lands in the mana base. Right before I streamed, I was thinking about cutting the Charming Scoundrels. I think you do want some treasure tokens to, like, make your caretakers pop off earlier in the game before you start copying Shieldreds. Um, but you, you could, you could swap out, like, the Charming Scoundrels for, like, um, Impulse. There's another two mana artifact... Um, collectors, something or other, that you can pay to and tap it to discard, to draw a card, discard a card, and create a treasure. I think that would probably go better in this deck than the Charming Scoundrel. Although the Charming Scoundrel is nice as a chump blocker now and then. Um, I think swapping out those slots with some more treasure creators uh, and some like impulses would make the deck better to get you to your pieces. But uh, it's extremely powerful when Shelly gets on the board. I mean, Shelly's a broken card. <laughs> I think that was what I was trying to confirm with this stream tonight is that Shelly is still in standard and it's still a game that uh, a card that will just win games on its own as it did in the stream uh, the couple of times that it, it got cast and stuck on the battlefield in time. So yeah, uh, you could play a deck like this much better in older formats. Uh, formats where there are more clone effects that can copy legendary creatures. Y you can do it even in Pioneer or in Modern, you know, anything older than Standard. Right now, this is the only show in town as far as copying legendary creatures, and it's not the best. But, uh, so this whole concept is not really well suited to Standard in general. But it's still fun, and it's still awesome when it pops off. And to make it better, I think it needs more card draw. You need the impulses. Um... I don't know what you do, but maybe some more sideboard, like, removal? I don't know. I don't know how how much you can do to really shore up your aggro matchup more than it already has. Because uh, that's always going to be bad for you. A deck that is really focused on your 4-drop creature. But, um, yeah, we got to see it pop off a couple of times. We actually got a game where we copied Shelly, and it won for us. We had another game where we copied Shelly, and it didn't win. Uh, but we got to see what happens when you uh, stick a Shelly and you protect it. And that is you pretty much win the game. So two and four with copying Shieldred in Standard. I had fun. Uh, Standard, you see a lot of kooky stuff still, which is fun. Although it's beginning to calcify a little bit around the uh, the really powerful cards. Cards like Caretaker's Talent. Cards like, you know, Deep Cavern Bat. Uh, the Golgari deck with its uh, Glissa is really hard to deal with. And it's like, you know, um, Moss... Mosswood Dread Knights. That's a very strong deck. Liliana the Veil, another card from Dominaria that's very problematic. Uh, Two and four, yeah. I'll take it, you know, for what this deck is. Uh, a not especially well optimized build of a janky concept. Uh, the wins that we had were spectacular, and we came close in some of those matches that we lost as well. So, yeah. Uh, probably won't be playing this deck again in standard. Uh, we'll see if next week I pivot to another format or if I keep up with standard. I'm still having fun in standard. And I think there's still some some stuff to explore, so we'll see what happens next week. But for now, I've had fun playing uh, Shieldred Copy Tribal. I hope you have enjoyed watching it. If you like off-meta, off-kilter, MPG content, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Hope to see you in the next one, Phyrexian brothers and sisters. Have a good night.